Hello, and welcome back to episode... <laughs> episode, I'm not sure, of this uh, teaching yourself to draw in one year. Uh, I'm just sitting in my chair talking to you just like last time. Hopefully you guys don't mind the more like casual nature of these videos, uh, especially going forward. Obviously I'll show you everything I drew and I'll talk about it, but uh, I think it's gonna be a lot more of just me sitting here and talking to you guys directly. It's Sunday night, by the way, so it's like right before you're watching it. Wait, point is the style lets me focus just more on drawing instead of having to set up the camera before I draw, etc. Also, I think bi-weekly videos is probably more realistic, uh, but yeah. I started drawing in my sketchbook. I mostly just doodled and I practiced. It was really nice, or it is really nice, to not have so many options. Like, digital art is amazing because there's so many choices and you can create just about anything um, if you put your mind to it and also if you know how to do it. Um, it was kind of nice just to pull out a pen and draw on paper and have it be like final, <laughs> less decision-making, I guess. So I mostly just doodled. I drew Tignari quite a few times. I had gone out shopping uh, and I stopped at a pizza place and sketched in there for a, really, a, a little bit. It was really nice. My husband and I are gonna be launching a... Oh, should I share this? I'll just say we're working on something. <laughs> and part of the branding is gonna have the word companion in it. So I was tasked to draw the logo for it. It was really nice just working with pen and paper um, because I was able to kind of move from one idea to the next. I obviously wasn't erasing anything. I could go back from a fifth hand that I drew um, to the first hand that I drew and one idea turned into another. And I went from two people raising their hands to the I love you symbol in sign language um, to two ghosts holding hands. And uh, this is the one I ended up translating into digital. And this is probably the one we're gonna keep. So drawing in the sketchbook, I'm gonna definitely keep doing this because it was very final in some senses, but it was also very low like, it's a sketchbook. Like, if I mess up, it doesn't really matter because there's a hundred, there's 200 more pages in here and no one's really gonna see it. Well, actually that's not true. You guys are gonna see it, but <laughs> as a general rule, I'm the only one who has to see it, right? <laughs> I feel my style kind of forming in small ways. Like, I can see my, my natural tendency when I draw faces and when I draw like hair uh, it's obviously all very undeveloped and unrefined but i do see my style starting to form which is very encouraging because when you first start drawing you just you're just drawing and hoping that it somewhat resembles the thing that you're trying to draw <laughs> you're not really worried about you know does it look like does it have my signature style to it but i feel like my style is starting to come out in small ways it, it definitely feel more motivated to continue so yeah uh that's what i did this week Next week, or the next two weeks, we'll see, uh, I have a plan. So I really like the big ruin giant in Sumeru, and part of me really, really hopes that it becomes like a weekly boss or some kind of boss that we fight, um, because I just think it would be so scary and overwhelming, and I want that. I want like a Dark Souls level boss in Genshin. Uh, so I took a couple pictures at the site, which I'll show on screen, and I'm gonna use these as references for um, my own rendition. So I'll, I'll draw, maybe I'll draw some other stuff, but my objective is going to be to start this piece tomorrow and for you today and have it finished in two weeks, uh, completely finished, polished. Yeah, so I'm very excited. Um, I feel very inspired by it. And I'm gonna rely on my references. I'm not gonna be too hard on myself. I saw <laughs> I saw a tweet today. Wait, I should pull it up. I saw this tweet and it says, don't know who needs to hear this, but you literally won't progress in any skill or hobby ever until you accept that you will think your early stuff is cringe and it's okay to be cringe. You don't have to be cool and perfect and suave for others all the time, just be cringe. Yeah, yeah, 
I don't know, there's nothing really much to say. This kind of encompasses everything that I'm trying to show with this series. It's really uncomfortable for me to be showing pieces and, and like drawings that I'm not proud of and that I don't objectively think are good, but I know in my heart of hearts that it is important to share with you. You know, maybe it, let's say I went a more traditional route of learning something and I just, you know, you guys saw the finished products on Twitter and I only started sharing when I was actually proud of what I did. You might not really like believe that you might not be able to take that the fact that I learned how to draw and apply it to yourself. And I hope that through this series and through my progression, you'll be able to see yourself in me. So yeah, I'm very excited for this um, next couple weeks. It's nice to have a clear objective and I do feel like I can do it. So yeah, I'll see you soon. Tomorrow It's a little sneak peek. You're going to see my first um, Tower of Fantasy YouTube video. So if you're interested in Tower of Fantasy, check it out. It's like, it's the game I play the most offline. Um, anyways, that's tomorrow. I will sign off here and wish you luck on whatever you're working on. Cheers. Have a great week. Bye. Boom.